Industry and Sloth An indolent young man, being asked why he lay in bed so long, jocosely and carelessly answered, Every morning of my life I hear long causes. I have two fine girls, named Industry and Sloth, close at my bedside. As soon as ever I wake, pressing their different suits, one entreats me to get up, the other persuades me to lie still, and then they alternately give me various reasons why I should rise and why I should not. In the meantime, as it is the duty of an impartial judge to hear all that can be said on either side before the pleadings are over, it is time to go to dinner. The lazy have more excuses for their sloth than the productive have for their industry. The Horse and the Lion A lion, who had got old and infirm, saw a fine plump nag and longed for a bit of him. Knowing that the animal would prove too fleet for him in the chase, he had recourse to artifice. He gave out to all the beasts that, having spent many years in studying physic, he was now prepared to heal any malady or distemper with which they might be afflicted. He hoped by that means to get admittance among them, and so find a chance of satisfying his appetite. The horse, who had doubts of the lion's honesty, came up limping, pretended that he had run a thorn into one of his hind feet, which gave him great pain. The lion asked that the foot might be shown to him, and poured over it with a mock earnest air. The horse, slyly looking round, saw that he was preparing to spring, and vigorously sending out both his heels at once, gave the lion such a kick in the face that it laid him stunned and sprawling upon the ground. Then, laughing at the success of his trick, he trotted merrily away. Over-craftiness defeats itself. The Wolf and the Sheep a wolf that had been sorely worried and left for dead by the dogs lay not far from a running stream. Parched with thirst, the babble of the brook sounded most temptingly in his ears, and he felt that one cool, delicious draught might yet restore him some hope of life. Just then a sheep passed near. "'Pray, sister, bring me some water from yon stream,' said he. Water is all I want. I do not ask for meat. Yes, replied the sheep, but I know very well that when I have brought you water, my body will serve for meat. Hypocritical speeches are easily seen through. <laughs>